Okay, so um, today, got a Midnight City by M83 in the background. Let's talk about the film, A uh, Simple Favor. So I didn't really know what to expect coming into this movie, um, but I was uh, really enjoying it, especially towards the end. Oh, I'll turn down the music a bit. So during the um, beginning of the film, it's, it was sort of a, it, it felt like a sort of like a comedy. I uh, like I wasn't too invested in the beginning, but as the um, sort of mystery in the story of the of the film like started a. Uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know, developing more. <laughs> I became more invested, like more and more, uh, as the film went along, all the way up until the end. Yeah, so, uh, again, trying not to get into spoilers. So, the main character is a widowed single mother. Um, her best friend, Emily, who seems to have it all, uh, mysteriously disappears one day, and Stephanie um, launches her own investigation by digging into her friend's past and finding a few surprises along the way. So yeah, there. I think I can talk about some of the plot details without actually spoiling it because I'm surprised how, yeah, how, as the movie progresses, um, like just a lot of new surprises and twists uh, come up. It, it's unpredictable. And that's my favorite um, sort of aspect of good movies these days movies that are unpredictable and I don't really see what's coming or what the ending is. So it's not a perfect film, but it's better than I thought. Um, Wikipedia labels it as American Crime Thriller. Rotten Tomatoes labels it as a mystery thriller comedy. Yeah, it's kind of a blend of yeah, comedy, drama, thriller, romance. Um, the director is Paul Feig or Feig, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He made a he makes a lot of comedy films. The recent ones I could remember are like uh, the Ghostbusters from 2016. I don't know, so I can't really name the other ones he make. Yeah, he's a comedy director. Uh, oh yeah, he made the movie Spy. I enjoyed that one. Um. Um. <laughs> the Heat. Oh, he made Bridesmaids. Yeah, I forgot about that. I enjoyed Bridesmaids too. Yeah. So um. What else is, is there to say about it? I mean, I, I recommend it just in terms of the surprises and twists, and it's it's kind of a smart film and because for one, the acting is very good. Anna Kendrick, Blake Lively, Henry Golding, like the main three people, like they do a great job in this film, and I really like the side not well not the side but like the, the small characters, like the minor characters, like Andrew Rannells. Uh, Aparna, Nanchurla, and Kelly McCormick are very funny in the film. They're sort of like the other... Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to say who they are. But yeah, I haven't laughed out loud watching a film uh, in quite a while. I've been laughing... At, I was consistently, like, more and more as the film went on laughing at, at just the situations. Not really jokes, but just the situations the characters are put in. Like, how ridiculous they are, how sort of like shockingly like weird uh they um those situations are so yeah this is a simple favor it's pretty good i'll keep this review pretty short um so uh until then bye and peace